Hey again everyone, so I'm back with another review for you today and that is on A Touch of Power by Maria V. Snyder and as always I'll start by reading the back of the book. They destroyed her world but she's their only hope. Avery's power to heal the sick should earn her respect in the plague-torn land of Kazan. Instead she is feared, her kind are blamed for the horrifying disease that has taken hold of the nation. When Avery uses her forbidden magic to save a dying child she faces the guillotine until a dark, mysterious man rescues her from her prison cell. His people need Avery's magic to save their dying prince, the very prince who first unleashed the plague on Kazan. Saving the prince is certain to kill Avery, yet she already faces a violent death. Now she must choose, use her healing touch to show the ultimate mercy, or die a martyr to a lost cause. Uh, okay, cover-wise, I love this cover. Um, I first saw reviews of this book popping up a couple of months ago and I saw the US cover which um, has a girl on the front and it has these beautiful pinks and purples and the girl's holding um, like a lily which is it's very pretty um, I probably will have showed you a picture before this um, video started and I thought it was really pretty and now having read the book I see that it's kind of relevant um, but this is how I pictured the main character Avery to look. Um, she's still pretty, but she this shows her strength really. Um, she, her character has um, a real inner strength. Her, her backbone is like stainless steel. She is a really strong character, and I loved her character. Um, and I love the bluey greens. Um, I think because this is a sort of dystopian book. I feel like this colour scheme sort of shows that sort of serious dark plague torn world that this is and not like a very pretty cover. I think this is much more suited to it. Um, Mirror Inc very kindly sent this to me because I inquired about it and when they got copies they sent me one. Um, I've not read any of Maria V. Snyder's other books but oh my god based on this book I am totally gonna try and get hold of all her other books really soon because I have fallen completely in love with this book. It's just amazing. Um, I loved everything about this book. As soon as I started reading it, it was gripped, um, and I could have read it really, really quickly, but because of the sort of world building and stuff in it, I really wanted to take my time um, because there is a lot going on in this book. Um, it's very plot rich and I wanted to make sure that I took it all in properly and really understood what was happening. Um, this is a dystopian book. There has been this plague that's wiped out a load of the population of this these 15 realms and it has elements of sort of fantasy and um, like a medieval history feel to it. That's the vibe I got. I got historical dystopia fantasy from it and this is the 15 realms so you can see it's very sort of fantasy-ish from that. and. Avery is this, she thinks she's the last healer, um, the healers are blamed for this plague that kills so many people so they basically hunted them down and killed them all. So she's in hiding but she can't watch children suffer so she heals this child and then plans to go on the run but she's caught and so she faces death and then this group rescue her in order, and basically they want her to save their prince. Um, so basically kidnap her and try to force her to heal this prince and she's defiant and that's what I mean her character you think she's a soft healer no defences but actually she learns to throw knives um, this book I, it's not very violent but there are some go like kind of goryish descriptions they didn't bother me um, but some people may not be used to reading such like um, gory details they're not described in every sort of way but put it that way I would say this is on the higher end of um, age wise for YA um, I loved all the different characters and they all felt very individual um, no couple cut out characters um, Belen he's like this big bear of a guy and he takes on like the fathership role um, Flea he's a sort of cheeky younger boy like childlike um, there is sort of a romantic interest in this book but it is one of those sort of love-hate relationships where they start off hating each other um, 
and I really like those sorts of relationships so it worked really well for me um, I didn't want to give too much away but it was oh my gosh it was just completely amazing I'm in love with this book and I'm in love with this author and it's definitely a 5 out of 5 read for me great start to 2012 reading wise because I'm just completely bowled over by this book um, when I wasn't reading it I was thinking about it and wanted to be reading it um, brilliant plot brilliant characters writing style was amazing and I can't wait to read the next one the next one doesn't come out until 2013 I believe let's just check yeah look out for more of Avery's adventures in 2013 but where this book um, finishes I'm happy with it I can wait it's not like a major cliffhanger um, some things are tied up really nicely to my satisfaction but there is still a lot left unanswered um, in this book loads and loads um, but at the same time a lot of stuff um, has been answered we kind of know who's good who's bad what's really going on um, some theories are chucked up in this book um, about this plague it's this mysterious plague the healers have been blamed for it but nobody really knows that much about it and so that I think that's what needs to come out now is oh, what happened what did what caused this plague um who was responsible and are there really more healers or is Avery the last one um so I would definitely recommend picking this up I will be recommending this to everybody and their dog because I love this so much so if you do check it out please let me know what you think I'd love to know and happy reading <laughs>